258841 versus KX826 for stopping balding. Which is better? Okay, so a lot of guys going through hair loss ask me if they should use RU58841. However, this was a topical anti-androgen created in the 80s. What this means is that it's a liquid that when applied binds to the androgen receptors in our scalps. These receptors are like keyholes that DHT would otherwise attach to and make your hairs miniaturize. The big issue with RU is that research was abandoned on it, so we only really have safety data on monkeys and rats. KX826, aka pyrolutamide, however, is what I am experimenting with in my own hair loss protocol. This also binds to the androgen receptors in your scalp, stopping DHT from shrinking your hair follicles. But the difference is that we have human safety data on it. And when comparing the binding affinity, so how well it attaches to the androgen receptor of KX826, RU58841, and DHT itself, RU is weaker than DHT, whereas KX826 is similar, if not better, at binding to the androgen receptor than DHT. So essentially, it wins the race to attach to the hair follicle against DHT. Now, the data is still evolving on KX826, but if you want to use a topical anti-androgen in your hair loss protocol, it makes a million times more sense than using RU58841. I'm currently using it alongside Jutasteride and Minoxidil, and I'll keep you guys updated on my progress, and I'll drop the link for where I get my KX826 in the description for you guys. Follow for more hair loss education.